Hello everyone, welcome to the channel, Rad here from Radku Tarot and this is going to be Leo Sun, Leo Moon, Ein Leo Rising, Weekly Tarot and Lenormand reading for December 10th to December 16th, 2018. And uh, while I'm shuffling the cards, I want to remind you once again guys, that this is just a, a general reading for Leo Star Sign and it is not your personal reading. Therefore, in this video, I will do my best to explain you the meanings of the card, their synergy in the spread, to give you some examples as well, just, just so I can make it a little bit more clearer, but at the end it forces you to make sense of them and to align them to your personal situation. Now, if you want uh, me to do that for you, just like I'm doing for the examples of this uh, video, then uh, that is a subject of a personal reading and for personal readings you can check out my website which is listed down below in the description of this video and there um, you can find a full list of my services as well as their pricings and uh, as it is the uh, Christmas time you know a lot of celebrations in sort there are also uh, a Christmas deals going on which simply reduces the prices of the 30 and the 20 minute uh, live tarot reading with me. So that set aside, going to the tarot spread, and this is going to be an, an enhanced tarot spread, multiple card per position. We do have the Empress for the topic of uh, your week, Leos, then we do have the Queen of Swords, which is the core of the situation. Third card, it is the Tree of Swords, challenges which are causing predicaments. And the last one, that is to be the Eight of Cups, which is the guidance for you. So let's see what we have now. The topic of the week, obviously, this is going to be a, a quite good week for you, Leos, despite that we do have that um, ominous card here falling into the... Um, challenges which are causing predicaments. So the Empress here points that the very least you are to reap whatever you have, you have sown in the past, either good or bad, you know. And if you have been a, a bad person in sense of surreptitious, you have done a betrayals and these kinds of stuff, that is not going to be a very good week for you at all. I mean, you have to face the consequences of it. But however, if you have been a, a good person, you know, I mean, you you worked a lot, you have been uh, devoted to your relationship and etc, etc. It does look like that these... Um, benefits are going to be reaped that week and you are to feel very very comfortable. The Emperor's card here points that you are to be, uh, how can I place it, you are to be in a position to make a, a very very major decision uh, throughout that week because the Empress is all about that, Discern, uh, not discerning but uh, detaching yourself, excuse me, from the midst of activity so you can decide where to move on from now on. Uh, <clears throat> And uh, uh, this specific um, decision of yours needs to be taken with a huge portion of maturity. It's kind of you, you being mature. So let's see what is the accompanied card. Now that is going to be the devil. We do have a, a double earth cards here. So it does look like that this is going to be a, a, a week of where you are going to make a, a very solid roots where you are standing because with these as a... Um, combination here it does look like that you are to have the influence the influence that it is needed in order to um, shape your future the way you like it it is simply that way so from now on from from this week moving on forward it does look like that it's it's going to be put a um, uh, into stir a, a chain of events here that has, that are going to give you whatever you want it because the devil card is all about that feeding the hunger uh, that your soul does have and that week here is going to be where you are going to either reap the, the means necessary in order for you to do so or to sow whatever you are to reap in the future in either way you know you are going to need to make that mature decision for how you should perceive on forward because the devil gives you tremendous amounts of power you know it gives you the power to alter out your outcomes it gives you the power to to chase whatever you want either that is going to be a project new job or a relationship for that matter but in the same time guys it kind of leaves you with the consequences of it and that is why it's very very important to not act like a child to not um 
I don't know the English word about that, uh, but uh, let's say to not be stubborn for the um, for the consequences of whatever your actions are going to uh, exert into you, uh, into your environment, into your deeds, and into the deeds of others as well. And a very um, superficial meaning of those couple of cards is that if you want to get pregnant, well, this is the week where your, where your um, desire of the soul is going to be fed. Very strong combo here for getting pregnant. So if that is your aim, well, go for it. Or do something about it throughout this uh, this specific week. Now the next card that we do have this is the core of the situation, and the Queen of Swords does expresses your standpoint. So you have finally found a way how you can push through, either with your career or either with your relationship. Here we are seeing that you have learned what means you are uh, you need what means are necessary for you to move on forward because the queen of Water, the queen of swords it is the standpoint where you realize that being forewarned it is exactly what makes you forearmed therefore it's all about uh, information and it is all about counting out invest investigating how things are to unfold if you take one or another path which again falls here with the decision making all right so that specific week if it is not about pregnancy it's going to be about a research for you so you can make that important decision which eventually are going to uh, is going to give you the uh, the needs of your soul or is going to feed up the hunger of uh, of your soul and yeah that is a, a further confirmation here that uh, with the two of swords it does look like that this is uh, this week it's basically nothing that can be added here with the Queen of Swords apart from that that you are to be very thorough with your investigation and with your research as well how you can use your means or how to gather them up knowing that um, <clears throat> there is always more than one way to look at something you know and even if you are feel feeling co uh, cornered right now at this very moment there is always a, a way out very important with these couple of cards it is also very important here to realize that you are in a state of equilibrium as well so you can kind of like catch up your breath you can ease your nerves in this specific standpoint that nothing can go wrong should you maintain your current position but in the same time eventually you have to make your move all right but that move needs to be uh, supported or that decision of yours again needs to be supported with a um, very strong arguments and very strong uh, the conving convictions. I'm sorry if I'm not pronouncing that word right, but it is very difficult for me to do it. You know. Anyway, so yeah, it's kind of like uh, your uh, your convictions ca has to be um, very accurate regarding to uh, the. Um, to the direction that you are to take or to just say it in, a, in another way so you can make it uh, much more clearer for yourself uh, you have to support your um, your newfound direction with arguments you know you should not do it just for the sake because you can't do it there has to be a reason behind it all right and as soon as there is a reason behind it then um, I am sure here that you are to get whatever you want so this week just to summarize it it is the drive or the very first steps forward to consolidate upon what you truly want for yourself in the near future either again a person improvement into your relationship new job new project you name it it does depend on your personal situation the tree of swords here uh, lying down on the challenges which are causing predicaments it could point to a few things but in generally points to the realization of the difficulty of the task in that specific case let me see yeah it's um <clears throat> That will be a challenge where you are to realize that it's not going to be as easy as you thought, and probably this is why uh, you are to ha you are to uh, spend a lot of time contemplating how exactly you can achieve your um, 
you can achieve your goal because what we do have here is a, a, a water card uh, combined with the air card and what that combination means is that makes your thoughts much more cunning and much more to the gloom and doom side all right so the challenge here is is to believe in yourself in general to realize that yeah it's difficult you know but it is not as difficult as you cannot overcome and as soon as you are and as as long as you are ready excuse me to wait as much as it needs to be waited to be waited because with the two of swords and the queen of and the queen of swords again eventually remember that what i said eventually you are to find a way through all right uh, but you need to be patient with those couple of cards so no matter how difficult it looks at the start you are eventually are going to find a way through all right so don't get discouraged if you see that at the very initial state things are looking way too sophisticated very complex and uh, uh, in general a little bit overwhelming as well and this is also caused here by the seven of cups because this is a card of the uh, of, of illusions and uh, those unrealistic approaches not goals but uh, approaches of your behalf where you're to realize well I thought that I can do it that way you know but now when I think about it second time I doesn't look like I'm going to be able to pull it through and that could put a, a very um, gloomy thoughts in your head and if you allow those thoughts to twist and tangle through your mind it is likely to find yourself um, lost you know, so it is very important here to really focus on your goal and not to allow the negative, uh, the negative thinking to get the best of you. But instead, always, always search for a way through. Important thing here with these cards to be acknowledged is that ev eventually you are to find what is needed, or kind of like you are to find the. Um, the right, the right way how to do things, but. Uh, there are two ways how you are to do so, <laughs> all right? Um, the first one is if you uh, contemplate as much as it needs, as I said here, and find a way through the king of your mind. Or the other way as these cards are preaching is if you try frantically any kind of um, um, variation that is in front of you and... Uh, you find the right approach through process of elimination but that specific method if you go for it is going to bring you a lot of disappointment and these disappointments are to be those kind of red flags which are to point you in the right direction if you however choose to go into that way and of course going that way with the frantic experimentation of the uh, options available in front of you is to discourage you even further therefore um, Leo's it is very again important to be extremely patient and to be with a keen mind just indulge with with whatever it is making you comfortable throughout that week as the Empress suggests here and try to adopt a state of maturity that is very 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 important the last card that we do have which is the guidance here kind of supports the thesis of uh, the tree of swords because the eight of cups it's po it is pointing that you need to realize that right now where you're standing yeah it's it's kind of like uh, it may suit you all right it is comfortable not everything is ideal and perfect but we cannot reach a, a state of perpetuum mobile at all you know it's just how the universe works but a and an improvement needs to be established at a certain point and that improvement can only happen when you um make reshuffles into your uh, into your environment reshuffles into your career or reshuffles into your relationship now that is to put a little bit of a disbalance in there but the eight of cups points that even though you may find some situations misfortune should you continue on forward to exert a, a fresh wind into your um into your deeds and into your environment as relationship or career a, a better perspective inevitably is to emerge and the four of cups here with the eight of cups it points that you need to rely on the drive that something different needs to happen all right and do not stop seeking the differences in uh, the, the difference that can make 
something into your career and into your relationship because these couple of cards are pointing that should you stay in the same place where you are staying right now is you are going to um, reach a state of lethargy all right and you will you may find yourself not wanting to do whatever in order to uh, improve your personal circumstances either into your career or either into your relationship that's why you need to follow that part of the human nature where a person always and always wants for more this comes from the four of cups with a um, with a combination of the eight of cups where you are the more you think how much you have and that is even not the right standpoint here leos the standpoint is that you need to think of how much you can achieve with what you have and with what you have from the positions that you are taking and uh, uh, what you have with the key in mind that you are adopting as well what you can have, excuse me, with the key in mind that you are adopting yourself. Basically, this reading here is all about you realizing how much potential you got, unutilized potential at that point, and you have to, you are, you need to find a way how you can capitalize on that potential in order to make your wish or the hunger of your soul that resides here in the topic come true further into the future and again through that will happen in a couple of ways as i said either deliberating of how you should proceed on forward or frantically exploring every single uh, possibility but nonetheless guys you should not fall into despondency or poignant state here all right because even though some of the situations may be um or some of the results that you are getting may approve themselves a little bit disappointing all right a, a better perspectives are to emerge very very soon should you indulge yourself with the um uh well, what was i about to say should you indulge yourself with the sense of that you do need and you do deserve something more so that was the tarot reading for you, Leo, and now we are going to the Lenormand card reading, which is to show us a uh, event uh, that you should either look forward to or try to avoid. A second to shuffle them. Okay. So let's see what we got. Now the first card, this is going to be the child, which stands for new beginning or a child. Innocence as well. Then we do have the sun, which is a, a great success, a great amount of luck, and in generally a, a very positive outlook for the future. And the last one, this is going to be um, the stork, which points to delivery. It does point to birth or to new era. And these uh, cards could be interpreted in two types of events. A event where you are starting something new with a great success or a birth of a child. Pregnancy is what we do have here as well. So this is what the Lenormand cards are pointing toward. And obviously this is going to be a week for you, Leo, where you are to make a, a huge advance moving on forward in the direction that you really, really want here, uh, something that you have yearned for, all right? But it is just, it, it will take a little bit more of the deliberation of how you can make it with the less, uh, with less price that you have to pay for it because everything comes with its price guys and even if it seems um, for free at the start eventually the bills comes and one needs to pay that bill so uh, that that's why now it will be important for you to be rather more calculative throughout that week than uh, than emotional and impulsive so you don't end up disappointed way too much that being said, guys, this was your weekly Tarot and Lenormand reading for uh, December 10 to December 16, 2018. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it, Leo. And uh, again, this was just a general reading for Leo Star Sign, and it was not your personal reading. Therefore, in this video, I did my best to explain you the meanings of the cards and their synergy in the spread. But at the end, it forced you to make sense of them and to align them to your personal situation. Now, if you want me to do that for you, just like I did for the examples of this uh, video, and these examples are your personal situation um, 
this is a matter of personal reading and for personal readings so you can check out my website which is listed down below in the description of this video and there you are to find a full list of my services as well as their pricings and if you do so don't forget about the Christmas uh, special deal which reduce which basically makes the prices for uh, 20 and 30 minutes personal reading with me reduced with reduced cost so Rod signing out now see you next time bye